here's what I got so far. I cut this piece off and drilled a hole in it. And so what that's going to do is weld on. Wait, make it better. Weld on like that. So it's going to stick on there. And then the eye bolt will go onto it. The bolt will go through there. Just like that. So as I steer, it will go side to side, like that. Okay, time to weld. New idea. Because if I add this little piece onto it, this little thing stuck like this, it's gonna add too much distance. The you know the connecting rods will be too far out, so don't need that anymore. But I have this bolt through here with a nut on the inside. So what I'm gonna do is weld that nut in place on the inside, see, and then I'll be able to put the eye on there and put the bolt through it right there and it'll hold it on that way and the hole that's already there because the hole that's already there is less um, off than if I were to use that piece that's closer to where I want it so I'm gonna do that and it'll be stronger anyway so yeah I'm gonna go do that now I'm gonna go weld that bolt right in there Make sure your welder is off. Uh, probably low feed rate. I'll try minimum first. Minimum power. But it's pretty thick. I will, we'll see what happens. Okay. Plug it in. There you go. Plugged in. Got my gloves. My helmet. Long sleeve shirt. Before I turn it on, I'm gonna attach my ground wire, ground plug. I got my my MIG gun over here. I'm gonna go right inside there, load the bolt on. Let me just get my safety gear on. There. It's really hard to push the buttons with these gloves on, but I'm just gonna set the camera down far enough away so that it's not gonna get damaged. Good? Good. I will uh, probably just end up tightening it by hand then because, you know, it's, it's really, the metal in there is really dirty and rusty and it, you know, MIG needs really clean metal to stick to. So I'll just have to rely on tightness of the bolts to hold it in there.